This video is about combining multiple functions in R. And as we've already talked about, we want each function to represent a single conceptual chunk of code that we can easily understand in isolation. And so that means that in order to accomplish larger tasks, we'll need to often combine multiple functions to accomplish our goals. And so, for example, these are like the functions in dplyr where we combine multiple functions in multiple steps to do the data processing that we want to accomplish. We can do this by defining multiple functions and then combining them in the same kinds of ways that we've combined multiple functions in our other work. And so let's go ahead and define another function that estimates the shrub mass from its volume. And so we'll call this EST for estimate underscore shrub underscore mass. And remember, we first use this keyword function to say that we're going to create a function. This function is now going to take one argument the volume, and then we have our curly brackets. And now we do the calculations that we need to do. And so let's say mass can be estimated using the equation 2.65 times the volume raised to 0 0.9. And then our last step uh, is that we return the mass to the outer program. Remember, we want to run this so that we actually create the function so that we can use it. And we can see it pops up over here in our global environment. We now have our function estimate shrub mass to go along with our other function, calc shrub ball. And so then we can combine these two functions just like we have combining built-in functions or functions from dplyr. And so one option is to use intermediate variables. So we could create a uh, shrub volume variable and we could assign it the output from the calc shrub volume function and you just saw me hit tab and it auto completes so all of the things that R will do with functions that are part of packages it will do with the functions you create yourself so it'll work the same way so we can auto complete and then we'll provide it that same uh, length of 0 0.8 width of 1.6 and height of 2.0 that we've been using so far. And so that will create our shrub volume. And then we can create a shrub mass variable. And just like before, we're now going to call our next function in the sequence that's est shrub mass. But now we'll pass it the output from our previous calculation. So we'll pass it the shrub volume variable. And now we can get our estimate of shrub mass out. Alternatively, we can use pipes like we've done uh, for dplyr functions before. And so I'm gonna go up uh, to the top of our script here where we always want to run our library calls and load the dplyr package. That will get us access to those pipes that we learned how to use. And so then I could just directly create the shrub mass variable that has the endpoint of what we want. And I could first call calc shrub vol with 0.8. 1.6 and 2.0 as the arguments. 
And then we could pipe the result of that into the est shrub mass function, because this is the volume and our estimate shrub mass function. Its first argument is the volume. And so we could run it like this and get out the same result. And finally, we can also nest functions together. So we can put one function call inside of another one. And so in this case, we could create our shrub mass variable. And then we could run our est shrub mass function. But for its argument, instead of providing a variable, we could provide the calc shrub vol function with the arguments that we want to provide it, 0 0.8, 1.6, and 2.0. And the way that this will execute is first, it will run our calc shrub volume function. It will get out the results of that, this value, 2.56, and put it in here inside these parentheses. And then it will run the est shrub mass function on that value. And so we can see we get the exact same result out up here. We do want to be careful when doing this uh, because it can make code difficult to read. Uh, it's a little more confusing, I think, what we've done here to understand than up here, uh, but it is doable. In general, you don't want to nest more than one function inside of one other function because then it gets particularly difficult to read. So that's how we combine multiple functions that we've created to perform more complex calculations. We create our multiple functions and then we combine them in the same way that we've combined functions from packages or base functions from R. We can use intermediate variables to store the output of one function and then pass it as the input to the next function. We can use pipes in cases where the argument that we need to pass along is the first argument for the next function and we'll need to load dplyr in order to get access to that pipe or we can nest one function inside of another function. Finally, moose alpaca, moose, moose, alpaca, moose, alpaca, moose, moose, alpaca. Okay. This is me sitting here awkwardly, seeing if I'm going to burp so that I can do that not in the middle of some material. Answer currently unclear. <laughs>